Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Zrinka, a tab designer and uh, co-founder of the agency Agilo, where I also work as a lead designer. What I wanted to talk to you about today is how we can improve the design of the WordPress dashboard and dash icons since we use WordPress platform on a daily basis. So let's dive into it. First of all, let's warm up a bit to this photo of a town where I come from. This is Split Croatia, and I've heard Swedish people like talking about um, weather and temperature, so right now it's like 19 degrees Celsius there. So I'm freezing here. WordPress and its visual presence. This is a tool that we use every day. However, it certainly lacks in its um, visual presence presence, which can be also as powerful as its functionality. Since uh, dashboard has certain limitations, we thought it would be like fun and creative to try and give it a um, new lease of life. Uh, this dashboard is almost entirely text information, and functionality is the number one priority. This means it really requires a special care when being shaped so, so that information can be processed as easily as, and as efficient as possible. So I've highlighted uh, some problems with the current um, dashboard. This layout works correctly. It's pretty basic and neutral, but it doesn't have any greater visual presence. The structure is stable, and it will get the job done. However, there is always room for improvement. Let's take a look at this from the type standpoint. How we handle type here is one of the greatest importance, since most of the information is text. We have to be careful with font choice, sizes, spacings, letting styles, paragraph length, uh, and uh, etc. What we see here is all the different text sizes that are used on the dashboard. When the eye uh, sees human eye, when it sees so many sizes, it cannot get used to a certain category of information. So each time it looks at a page, it has to learn its language all over again. Also, the paragraph length is way too long. The like human eye likes uh, the comfortable amount of somewhere about 60 signs per one line. We also see a lot of uh, color variations, like a lot of different shades of blue and gray and red. This can all be put into one s system that can work really efficiently. Uh, the design also feels a bit too crowded. It's like it could use a bit more space. We also have some problems with spacing of elements. There are certain inconsistencies. As you can see here, these are all the different spacings I've found on a single page. If we use just like two or three spacings between the elements, this entire design can really uh, look like it is systemized. Um, these are also the button sizes and variations I've found. There, I there uh, is no need to use as many button styles that there are right now. Like We can narrow it down to maybe two or three different bu buttons that can vary in color or in a font size but not also a different background or um, shadows or borders and etc. Also, um, here we have all the shades of gray that I found on, on the website, which really don't do any job. WordPress has its um, dash icons that are very diverse in their visual style. Having such complex and diverse shapes throughout the entire dashboard makes processing information so hard. Information should be processed as efficient as possible. And since we have icons always with a font, icon is just something that we teach a user uh, for a certain page. So we have to make these icons uh, helpful and useful as as possible. There's a lot of variety among the shapes. Um, some are quite abstract, while some are so literal. It would be a good idea to keep them all within one system that codes symbols in the same visual language. This way, user gets 
um, used to decode in the same system. Also, some icons are quite complex and have a lot of details, but some are really simple and straightforward. Since these icons will be used in small sizes only, our, our aim is to reduce the number of de details as much as possible. Also, some icons have um, endings that are sharp, some are rounded, um, some icons are stroke-based, some are fill-based. Um, one big problem with the icons is also that they vary in their optical size. Some appear quite dark and big, some appear light and small. There's also a lot of um, game playing with um, negative and positive space. Um, somewhere uh, white space acts as a stroke or a di divider between the parts of the icons, while on some icons the white space is more relevant, meaning it presents a really crucial part of the icon. So switching these roles between negative space really c c confuses human brain. What exactly have we done? So by fixing these parameters, we managed to create new uh, layout for the da dashboard and the entire new system for the dash icons. So we made a grid-based design, we've chosen a new font, uh, we've shaped text in a different way, we've added clear visual hierarchy, uh, we've used a limited amount of colors, um, we uh, added a system to styling the buttons, we've also added a system to sizing elements that belong in the same category, and we've um, added a lot of white space to make the design more breathable. Here you can see um, what it looks in the end. So this is all grid-based, like all elements fall into grid system, which makes the design consistent and solid on all screen sizes. We've chosen a Google free font that comes both in sans and serif version. Um, we used um, serif only on the places where you can add text and sounds on all other functionalities. To increase the visibility of text, we've used a different um, size, and also bold or italic, and to decrease, we use a smaller size. However, we don't use too many sizes. We use three sizes of font on the entire dashboard. Um, there's also clear visual hierarchy now, like the menu area is separated and, and the content area from the content area, there is a different background area of the links. We've decided not to use the shades of gray as a visual separator for uh, the content area, but we wanted to focus on the text and element arrangements. We also have two button sizes that can vary in height, and three button sizes based on priority and focus importance. Um, we've shaped text, so we, we fixed the length of the paragraph, and it's much shorter now. It's, it ranges from 60 to 70 characters per line. The sizes are proportionally aligned, more uh, leading is added, and more white space around the text to make the design more breathable and far easier on the eyes. And now the world of dash icons. So here you can see the um, uh, difference between the home icon that is now on the dashboard and the one that we created. On the first line on the slide, you see the um, a few of the current dashboard icons, and below are the icons that we designed. So they work both in the circle and without it. Why I chose this circle is so that the elements can always be uh, the same size, and it also works nice with the logo. So all the icons are um, in the same grid system, which is 30 pixels uh, grid. They are all pixel p perfect, so they can work efficiently in the digital media, and they all have correlation to the logo. Icons, on flat, icons are flat, so we can have one visual style that matches the personality of the font. Shapes are quite simplified, the icons work well, 
in the uh, in color in black and white and also as a negative they are also adjusted to work with the font um, uh, style so here is the entire list of the icons that we made they are all they are all um, linear so they um, so so now we can just avoid the fill icons which add a lot of visual noise um, this is a system that can be always extended. It's totally extendable since we will, we will be adding um, icons in the WordPress dashboard. Um, so this is an example of what we can do and how we can think about this problem. Hopefully, we'll see some improvements in the future. So thank you for listening. Thank you for that great speech. Do we have any questions from the audience? No? Do we have a run runner here? No there's runners? One. Okay. No, th there's one question, I think. Yeah, but we need a mic runner. OK. So I'm going to do it. Put your hand, hand up. There's a volunteer. Thank you. Hello, I was Hi. just wondering, um, what does it look like on mobile? I haven't put a mobile version here, but it, but it is a grid-based system that works like in all media. But I don't have it in the presentation, unfortunately. Great. Any more questions? There's a question. Is it available as a, a theme or, or something? What? To, Excuse me? Is it available? For us, as a downloadable theme yes, or something. Yes, uh, it will be available. I've seen that the um, the community has just started to think about doing redesign of the icons and the uh, dashboard. So I will put all the icons free for for use for the community. Very cool. I think you're uh, worth a round of applause just for that. Come on. Thank you. That's great. Do you think, um, I mean, one of the main issues with the WordPress uh, dashboard is that, um, well, if you, if, you, if you look at an installation mm -hmm. um, that's been around for a year or two, and people you know, put all kinds of stuff in there, yeah. it gets really cluttered. What yeah. is your thoughts on that? Well, uh, there, there is a lot of information, but we can, uh, we can uh, create a sy system that has certain elements that can be used to create new ones. So uh, there's not a visual no noise when someone comes with something new. So if we use consistent uh, sizes, uh, text styles, and all that, and colors, it can all look uh, OK. Like, we won't have um, a mess that we have now. Yeah. So where, where can people uh, go to, to get this? Because obviously they this? really want this. Yeah. So as I said, I've seen that the community uh, has just uh, started to think about it. So I will um, give this to the community. So yes. if they want to use it, that they, they can. Like It's free for use. Okay, okay. It's available but there's no feature long. plugin as of now? No. no. OK, thank you. Big round of applause, everyone. Thank you.